What do you think? Good. All right, good morning. It's Wednesday, September 14th, 2016, and today's Grandparents' Day. Grandma and Grandpa are up this morning, and they're going with Grant to school. All right, Grandma, Grandpa, and Grant are off to Grandparents' Day. Love you guys. I love you. Love you. Have fun. All right, good morning, everybody. What's happening? <clears throat> Grandma, Grandpa, and Grant are off to Grandparents' Day, and it's just a really special event. They do this um, once a year through Grant's preschool, and they even specifically state, like, parents are not invited. Um, you get a lot of, like, lately you get a lot of, like, libertard or whatever you want to call them, like, parents that are like, oh, it's Father's Day? Well, there is no father in, in my kid's life, so uh, I'm going to be his father for Father's Day, or whatever like you don't see dads doing that like on Mother's Day or something um, where am I going with this so but the whole reason why they said specifically no parents is they don't want you know parents coming on grandparents day it's a special day just for grandparents so they said don't come as your kids special person just don't come at all so what they did um, I'm trying to remember I don't think they did it this way last year but what they did is it's before school. So school is like at, let's say like 8.30. Um, this is from 7.30 to 8.15 today. And like I said, it's just grandparents. And then at 8.15, they kick all the grandparents out and then they start their school day. So that way any students or kids that don't have grandparents there, they won't arrive or even know really what's going on and they won't be there until 8.30 when school starts. I think it's good. I think it's it's something really good for the kids and all that. So, um, my dad was like, oh, you're going to meet us there? I'm like, I can't go. I, it specifically forbids parents from, from showing up. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, it's it's something good. It's, it's really good. So, um, my brother's having some health issues. So, we went out last night with uh, their kids. So, Kayla... Jack and Grace and we did dinner with them and stuff and I think we're gonna hang out with them tonight so my brother's at the doctor's uh, overnight last night and today so um, he should be okay everything's uh, looking promising but uh, keep you posted um, what else is happening that's about it so I ended up logging in for a little bit last night to Delta Wars from probably about probably about 11 until midnight after Grant went to bed and uh, when I logged in they were already attacking my team was already attacking an enemy base so I just jumped into the mix and helped out and what else while we were attacking somebody on the main level or map um, the uh, bad guys on the other level that I was talking about started attacking our bases uh, there wasn't much we could do because we don't have any resources over on that new level so it was just kind of like a slaughter on you know their end they, they slaughtered us but uh, I'm just listening I thought I heard some water or something trickling um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what else oh so like uh, we ended up taking two or three bases we think one of the new guys on our team is a spy and um, I'm trying to think what else. So the the bad guys on the new level, they quit their old team, which was called like Omega, and now they joined with the team that is the number one ranked team in the entire game. They have like 900 members or something. I don't even know. And everyone's like, uh-oh, if the big guys from that team actually come to our level or come to our map, we're in trouble. So, having said that, um, yeah, that could potentially be bad. So, we need to eradicate those guys off the map quick before they can call in for backup or support. 
and other than that, um, it, it's interesting, so, got paid yesterday for another wedding gig, so I was able to add a big chunk of money to my savings, which is good, I was looking up, I still have 39 payments on my 401k loan, so that's three years and three months left to pay this. Um, wow. So that's all I can say. I think I took like a $43,000 loan out a little, little under two years ago. And I've been paying back almost 800 bucks per month towards the loan. So it's down to, it's under 30000 now. It's like 28000 um, so I keep talking about money and all that, but that's the main reason why it's hard for me to save money is because most of my extra cash is going to pay off my, my loan. Um, <clears throat> remember the other day when I was all excited about my 401k stock, my, my, uh, works stock price dropped almost four bucks. So I bought in, um, it went up. A little over a dollar two days ago and then yesterday it closed down over two bucks so I should have gotten out that following day but I was like oh it'll keep going back up a little bit more no <clears throat> so that sucks tomorrow is dividend day so if I'm into the stocks tomorrow they'll pay out the dividends or I'll get like a check for the dividend price so I need to um, be sure that I'm in tomorrow so I'm still in today um, it's down a little bit so if it goes up by the end of the day today I'm going to get out today but then I have to be back in tomorrow to get the dividend um, that's a little bit about everything I, I need to focus on saving money um, easier said, said than done right so I have my weekly um, savings plan. I also have um, revenue coming in from my business, which is more or less extra income or like play money. And then I have money from um, Acorns. So Acorns is an app and it just collects change every so often. Um, if you've never heard of Acorns, every time I use my debit card, and let's say it's like a dollar ten, one dollar ten cents for the transaction, Acorns uh, sees that and rounds it up. So it takes that ten cents, rounds it up to a, to the next dollar, which would mean like ninety cents, and then collects that ninety cents and puts it into a um, investment account. So. Um, I think I got like six, seven hundred bucks in my account now, and it's not a lot. It's just another way to save money without having to actually do anything. So I like that. But uh, <clears throat> that's about it. So, like I said, I just I need to start focusing on saving money. Once Vicky moves out this way, which I'm hoping is within the next month or two, hopefully the next month. Uh, we're gonna both be saving some money so like uh, you know gas isn't cheap uh, my car in particular uses premium gas it's almost three bucks a gallon compared to 220 for regular gas um, it is what it is but uh, you know or I like I told her like if the money we save from not having to visit each other we can use towards dates or date nights or whatever we want to do so um, that's about it. Um, yeah, so I guess I will, I will cut this video off then and stay tuned for more. Um, I'm trying to think of what I got planned for today at work. I don't have a whole lot going on. I got to start cleaning up, picking up and same for at home. So I got to pick up, clean up, finish, um, picking up the garage and all that. And then we can get uh, two cars in in the garage. So yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for more. All right, what's going on, everybody? So 
just getting out of work for the day and I just had something that I wanted to talk about and today life reiterated one very important lesson that always prevails and mainly that is there's always going to be someone bigger and better than you no matter what it is no matter what you're talking about let's say you're into cars there's always going to be somebody that has a car twice as fast as yours twice as much horsepower whatever and no matter how much you do to your car or, or want to be that person and, and basically work towards becoming that person there's always going to be someone bigger and badder out there than you and the reason why this is all coming about is that video game that I've been playing and you know I, I'm just a little bit of an idiot you know naive I'd, I'd been playing the game for two weeks as of like yesterday a little longer than that because I did started before but stopped and so long story short the guys that we were stomping in the game somehow some way they joined up with the number one team in the entire game and I mentioned this in this morning's clip if you rewind back the tape the tape yeah, you know well yeah so that team they showed up today to kick our ass and it's it's interesting how this works like this morning I had this premonition I'm like you know what there's there's like highways that feed into the levels that's how I get to got to the other level I was talking about like two days ago or whatever and I was like you know what we don't control every one of those highways we control like three of the sides and the fourth side we didn't really control so I was like this morning I was like we need to control that like now especially since those other guys joined that team they joined them um, like days ago like let's say three four days ago so <clears throat> I have a chat with my buddies they're like yeah you're right we do get on this morning one of the leaders is online and I explained to him the story and he's like yeah you're right so we started working on controlling those other highways well those highways there's three on each side of the level so like three on one side of the level three three up top three below we were only able to gain control out of two out of the three highways on the remaining side guess which highway they all poured in through it was bad it was bad so we spent all day fighting trying to keep them from entering the map we killed a lot of their troops we at one point our leader the guy that was like sick or whatever he actually logged on for a few hours and was helping that other team is so massive that it it does it it doesn't even matter what we do so like those hundreds of dollars that I spent on this game to you know be accepted or be good or get ahead or whatever all down the drain man and it might take it might take a few weeks or something but it doesn't matter we're we're done <laughs> this this other team has I'll have to look up their stats but they have like a total of like 10,000 um, bases combined so I'm sitting there watching this unfold today and I was like wow I knew this was gonna happen like this morning and furthermore there was another guy on our team that's basically been telling us this was gonna happen for like days like since day one that those guys joined that other team he's like I know this team you're it's not gonna be good so when all that drama was going down with the leader and co-leader and stuff over the last, what, three days, four days, we all were just kind of like dinking around, messing around, not really focusing, not really playing and, and securing the map. And uh, we're paying for it. So 
They literally, like, I, I don't know how many members are on this other team, the number one team, but let's say it's like 10 times as many as our team. Each person was literally shoving, like, troops through those highways, like, as much as they could or whatever, like, full divisions. And we would kill some, whatever, yeah. But they would just keep sending them. Like, there's, it was like, it was like, um, ants or something or whatever. Like, like when you're drowning, like they just kept sending the troops. Didn't, it, they didn't even care. It was like, oh, in their, the way they were playing, it was almost like they were like, oh, you, um, you killed part of my troops. Well, here, let me just chase you around with the rest of them. And once those are dead, then I'll just send more. Like, it doesn't even matter. <clears throat> so, like I said, the lesson learned from all this is there's always somebody bigger and badder. And this is the reason why I left the very first team that I was on. And I mentioned this in my other blog, vlogs. Um, the very first team, we had deserters. And I did the math and realized, like, dude, there's these, these other guys are too big. I can't take them on myself. Well, that's what happened again. So we're now, we were the big guys on the map. We were, we were pretty much unstoppable. And somehow, some way, those last remaining guys jumped in with that team that I was just telling about. And it's game over for us, man. I don't know how logistically they can organize so many people across so many different levels. It doesn't even matter. It's just phenomenal. Phenomenal to watch this unfold in the way that they're doing it. So, <clears throat> that's it, man. I guess the last two weeks of stress or whatever that I've had playing this game, you know, I, I just bought some more titanium today, too. That's what sucks. And this, I just spent like another 50 bucks today on this damn game. But, uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm done, man. I'll play with whatever I got left to use or play or whatever. That's it. So, and I'm not sad or mad. I'm just disappointed. You know, it's... Well, why did I, you know, do that? Why did I spend so much money? It's like... So, <clears throat> life and life's lessons rear its ugly head once again, and basically it's just a matter of time before I have to, I'll be completely starting over in this game. So all that money I spent to like, um, get ahead in the game faster, doesn't matter because I'm going to get reset ultimately. So it'll be fun. It'll be good. We'll we'll keep fighting if we can. <clears throat> and I did look into this big bad boy team, the number one team that's fighting us, just to see like, oh, you know, is there a way I can join them? And I think I only have like 10,000 points or something. And their minimum requirement to join is 100,000 points. No one on the other team that the the first team that we were beating up that joined or jumped no one on that team had enough points to join so I don't know if they knew somebody I don't know what the deal was but uh, whatever man it is what it is right <clears throat> so I suppose I will just um, see you out there who knows? Maybe I'll dink around on that other map that I sort of move into. But uh, beyond that, we're pretty much done here. So, see you out there. I think I'll leave it at that. Stay tuned for more. Alright, so just uh, got home from work. Stopped and let Sophie out. Brought in my bags. And I'm headed to my brother's house to have dinner with the kids. So, stay tuned for more. Guys, I got a question for you. We're, we're here eating dinner with everybody. This, this, this is just my random thought of the day. 
All right, so guys, have you ever heard this? That lemons aren't natural? What? What does that I mean? Don't, I haven't confirmed it yet. to do with what we were talking about. <laughs> You're right, but this is a good story, though. Think about it. So they're saying that lemons are man-made. They're like, they're hybrids. Prove it. I they're think like, so. Like how dogs are domesticated? All right, Internet. Look this up. What? <laughs> no, most dogs would not survive in the wild. There's only like two breeds. Well, yeah. No, but have you ever heard that? You guys have never heard that before? Would lemons survive? That lemon? You guys have never? Never. So, well, they say that.